Well, when you start GCAD+, Plus, this is the screen that you'll see. To come to terms quickly with GCAD+, Plus, just select File and New, or click on the New File icon under here, and just pick the default environment. The black area is called the Drawing Editor, and at this stage you have no clear idea of the space that you have to work with. So pick this Distance tool and left click on one side of the screen and go roughly to the other. And you can see here I have a space some 20 metres uh, across to play with and that's ample for a lot of design work. But the space is not limited. You can go into a smaller zone or out to a much larger zone. Well now we have some idea of the space. Let's start some very simple design work. I'm going to put the polar switch on, come down here into the status line and just click it. And the reason being, let's imagine that we're looking at designing part of a courtyard and I want to draw a line and I can start a line in a number of different ways. Um, you might prefer to work with toolbar icons or a drop down menu and pick line in that way. I'll click and I'll just arbitrarily put a point with the left button of the mouse down and now because Polar is on I can easily move my crosshair cursor so that it points vertically up and let's imagine that we've measured the wall in this courtyard and it, it's 3,500 millimetre, 3.5 metre so I just hit the enter key at that point and you may be able to see the line appears. I can move my cursor now and go at a 45 degree angle and let's imagine that I had measured that at 5.5 metres so I simply type 5500. Um, you could if you measured 5550 uh, you can type whatever number you measure so the whole point of computer-aided design is to build a very accurate model. So let's imagine now we go across to the right, 7240, and I'll hit Enter. And I'll then right-click and exit from the line command. So we now have three lines which begin, each one begins at the end of the previous one. Let's bring in a plant symbol. So we can go Library, Plants. There are a lot of symbols available. Let's pick the plant number 5 and we'll pick it and insert it into the drawing. And it comes in, all of the symbols that you pick in that standard group measure a thousand units or thereabouts across, so a canopy diameter of a metre. So if we select the symbol, this box on the left is the property box and we can let's imagine we know that this plant has a symbol that should have a canopy diameter of five meters so we just type five and we unselect all so there's our the beginning of our design we might, we might want to select I'm choosing a crossing window clicking bottom left to pick the three line segments that constitute the wall and then I could right click and join them. So you can do an awful lot in GCAD Plus by clicking the right button of your mouse and in this case I might then want to modify the drawing and offset this wall line now and I'll right click and specify a distance. Let's imagine it's a double brick wall 230 millimetre and I do that so there's I'll exit from there I can also zoom in I could right click and pick the zoom a window and we'd just be working on that 45 degree angle wall uh, and if you want to and I'd like to show you a view the background colour will be white so now I'm looking with a white background rather than the darker background. And when you're beginning with GK Plus, you probably prefer to have that darker background while you work. But it, for the purpose of these little movies, it's easier for us to work with 
a white background. When you move, work into what's called a layout space, things automatically come to a white background. So let's move this back into background colour of black. And we're going to now, this is the model. Let's imagine that we can want to present this on a piece of paper. And so we go format and layout and we pick our paper size. Now let's imagine that I have an A3 sheet attached to my computer and I can print in a landscape view so I just say OK and when I do that a new layout appears. Now remember this is the true model everything that we see here is modeled full size for this developing courtyard but now I want to present it on an A3 sheet so I just click layout and I'll right click and zoom extents which tells GCAD Plus to show the whole design. I'll take off grid for the moment. So the design sits inside what's called a viewport. And a viewport's really just a, a cutout looking at the model through the sheet of paper. And if I look at that floating viewport you can see here's our view scale. So let's imagine that I wanted for some reason to set a 1 to 20 scale. I just type a scale of 20 and you'll notice that when I hit the escape key now the viewport is selected I can activate it like so and then I can that magenta box shows what we are going to see when we go back into a display on the layout so you can see I've zoomed in on part of that design so we go into model space which is the dark background when you are beginning and then into layout space here. You can of course add your title block information and of course you might want to show the whole site so you might want to drop from 1 to 20 to 1 to 50 and there's there's the whole site. Again double click in here that activates that zone again and you may want to change our viewpoint of the developing model. 